USA is home to so many tourist destinations in the world. As we all know, a lot of people apply for this tourist visa yearly, with a lot that get the visa and a lot on the other hand who do not get the visa. In this video, we're going to be exploring how to actually make the application facts you need to know before applying, supporting documents you would need, and a personal experience from someone who have actually applied, gone through the process, and came to the US on a visiting visa and went back to her country. This visa is called the B1, B2 tourist visa, and is usually granted for about five years for most Nigerians, and you're expected to stay not more than six months on arrival. Join me in today's video if you're interested, and please, if you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Success. I share contact like this and everything about the USA life in Phoenix and how to migrate to the United States as a nurse. But today's video is taking a different turn as you can see. So the next clip you're going to be seeing is an interview I had with Aisha. Please, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment below in the comment section and do well to like the video and subscribe. It will make this video go round to people who actually need it and who would enjoy content like this. So subscribing is free, liking is free. That's the most you could do for us. I'm going to be talking about something different and as you can see i have a guest with me so today's video is going to be talking about how to apply for a u.s visiting visa if this is something you're so interested in please keep watching and share to your friends and family who would want to know more about this so moving forward i would like to introduce my guest her name is aisha aisha please tell us more about yourself where are you located and what do you do for a living hi youtube my name is Aishat. I'm a registered nurse from Nigeria and I'm currently living and working in the UK. That's so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind of nurse are you and what specialty do you work in? Yeah, so presently I'm a senior staff nurse in a stroke unit and I'm working my way up to being a stroke specialist nurse in a few days. Yeah. Oh my God. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and how long have you been a nurse generally? And do you enjoy your job? yeah i mean like this is not something that people say a lot but i kind of enjoy nursing i've been a nurse for like five years now and i've been a stroke nurse for like two years five months to be precise and it's been really interesting even though it's like tasking but it's really interesting to me yeah that's <laughs> yeah guys let me know in the comment section if you want me to bring back i just talk about stroke nursing and <laughs> yes if this is your first time on my channel like i said my name is success i'm registered nurse based in phoenix arizona in the usa and i make videos on topic concerning migration as a nurse to the u.s lifestyle and a lot more other topics so today's video like i said is about uh, how to apply for a u.s visiting visa which is the b1 <coughs> tourists uh visa right yeah 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 so, <laughs> so anyone yeah. can apply for this visa but i will let her explain more because she has like first-hand experience on the application the interview and actually coming to the united states and then she went back mm -hmm. so the number one question i have is can you describe the process of applying for the u.s visa and share any tips in like compiling a strong application like just give us a rundown step by step on what we need to do if we want to apply for a visiting visa. Yes. First of all, it's like one of the most easiest visa that I've applied for in the in the UK. Let's put it out because I'm applying from the UK. Yeah. It's, it's the process is like similar for Nigeria and the U for, and the UK, but I'm not really sure. I just know the one for the UK. I, I have some things written down so that i would not forget <laughs> so first of all you go to like the official website it's um for b1 b2 tourist or business visa so it's during the um the application that you have to pick like oh yeah it's tourism and it's temporary visitor so also it's like a very long application like it's very very they ask so many unnecessary questions sorry like how many minutes do you think someone needs to sit down to fill the application i'll say 30 minutes because you don't want to make mistakes yeah even though it's not like an immigrant visa but visiting visa as well if you get denied from the us you're probably 
going to be denied in other places because everyone follow us if you get a visit visa in the us you likely get um other visas easily here that's why i heard and i'm not sure if it has helped me but i think it's maybe it's helping anyway so it's a very long application but then like you can always save your progress so once you get to the end of uh, a particular uh, page you can save it continue or you can save and leave so also one thing that was funny to me is they kept sending me mails that i should go back to my <laughs> to my application yeah. said, your usb1 b2 visa is waiting i'm like okay <laughs> you would apply for like patcho and like return date in mind they did not need you to book any return ticket. Yeah, they even like advised against it. The only thing they want to know is your intent to return. So like, I'll go back to the application now. So apply with an arrival and return date in mind because they will ask for those dates. Okay. And uh, yeah, so for me, I picked the option that I was going to see my friend. In the application, they will always ask you, are you going to see someone? Do you have their address? Are they aware that you're coming to see them? Did you get a letter from them? So, and then... Um, the other option would be that are you sponsoring your own visit and then they will ask you for like the hotel name, where you're going and then so also they will ask for your employment um, record, they will ask for criminal record, what, what else, there's like so many things they ask, your name, mm -hmm. your school, like education record and all of that and then you get to a point where you have to take a picture of yourself, they would review your picture like what hundred times because if you're not like standing where they want you to stand if the lighting is not okay they'll keep telling you to like retake it but it's like really i'll say it's very like an interactive page so you know where you're going wrong and you know um if you're doing the right thing they'll tell you okay so after doing all that application then you take your picture they'll review it accept or reject and then you do it again and then once that is done i told them you get to where you pick interview location in london they'll give you options and then you pick one then you sign and submit so at the end of your, your submission they're going to like give you a like a receipt what a confirmation that? page okay. so the confirmation page they will ask you to like save it or they'll send it send it to your mail so you can always print it out from your mail or you can just print it from the page but you need the confirmation page because you take it to the consular in london then the payment is 160 dollars then i think you can pay with any card because i paid with my uk card so after all that after payments then you go for your interview you said something about like how to compile a strong uh, like back in application for me the the even throughout the application pages everything they kept like they wanted to know that you're coming back to your country so i for me what i think helped was me talking about my job just yeah, when they ask about my employment, I listed so many things I do at my job so that they can know that I'm very useful there. <laughs> yeah, even at the consular, when the man started to ask questions about my job, I was like, yeah, I really, really love stroke. And I'm not even lying. I'm like, I I'm a stroke nurse right now. I love stroke. And he said, how many um, how many years contract did I send? I said three years contract and I'm going to renew it because I love being here. So you, you don't have to be like pushy, but that intention is what they need to know. Then... After going for the interview, they'll tell you immediately that you've been approved or you've been denied. And they'll tell you how many days or how many weeks to wait for your uh, passport to be sent back to you. So that's what I think would help you. Like, it's just your intent of saying that, oh, you're coming back to your country. You have family ties here. Oh, you have a boyfriend back here. You have a husband. Oh, your children stay here. The school here. Or you, you're schooling here. Something like that. Okay, so that's the major thing. Like they want you yeah, to. Yeah, that's the major sure thing. Going to yeah. yeah. So whatever you're doing, make sure that you're emphasizing the fact that you're going to return back to your home country. It could be yeah. UK, it could be Nigeria, it could yeah, be yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Um, do you think that every country have like different links to apply, or is it one USCIS link and then you select your location? It's one link, but it's not USCIS. I think that's for immigration. Okay yeah it's another one so i'll put it in the description box guys <laughs> so throughout the whole process did you like encounter any challenges or was there any part where you had to like redo was it like very straightforward for you yeah i'll i'll say like it's really straightforward again the application page everything is like very interactive the only place where i had issue was like taking my picture asking i i had to do it myself and then the lighting was bad i think that's all 
also in the beginning i didn't know that i needed to like save my application so because they're going to give you a code together with your surname so that when you come back you can always put it i can't find my code uh -huh. <laughs> I find my... oh my god so, i think i i don't know i think i started all over again i could oh not start so i could not find it yeah so that's the only challenge that so i take really of any code that they give you yeah from the yeah beginning. that's the only thing yeah okay Okay. Yeah, also, I wanted to say something about how, um, like, they didn't need a return ticket for me, probably because I said my friend is going to sponsor me. Also, it's not a visa that they give, like, five days, ten days, two weeks. It's five years now for Nigerians. So, no matter when you say you're coming back, it's, like, it's not of use for them because they, they are giving you five years. You can always come in and out. It's a, they have this, like, six-month rule where you can go into the U.S. and spend up to six months and come back. You have to leave before six months. Why are you smiling? <laughs> because I'm like, I'm like, people should not come in and expect to get a job and stay. Mm -hmm. or start yeah, to you can't, because yeah, the U.S. government, they're like really smart. They are very, very smart. They would, I, I think they will know that you're doing the wrong thing. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, so there's that rule, that six month rule. You have to come back. After, before six months else your visa will be terminated they really want me very well if, about that one yeah. if you want the immigration visa um, and you're a nurse then you can apply take your NCLEX and then they would do the whole green card sponsorship for you or if you have a spouse here that will apply for you or stuff like family parents children yeah. there, are like other, there are several parents. other ways to go to yeah. the u.s or to migrate to the u.s but when to settle with a visiting visa it just doesn't click for me yeah. yeah, I feel like you always have at the back of your head that you're doing something wrong. Yeah. yeah. And you're also processing um your nursing green card way, right? Yeah. And yeah, then you yeah. apply to the so does that stop? Did that in any way affect your application? No, at all. They now during my application for the green card, uh, they asked if I have applied for any kind of visa to the US and it's just oh yeah, visit visa and then okay, and then they move on to the next thing. So, okay, because I yeah. I heard some rumor going around that like if you have a same visa, it's probably going to affect your application for green card, blah blah blah. blah. But oh. as you heard, <laughs> it's oh. no way affecting it because no. there are two different visa categories. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's not, and it's, is it? It's not going. It's not a change of status, right? It's no, just no. A visa. But the time yeah. you get the green card, the other one will be terminated. More like I think so. You don't need it anymore. The other one, um, immigration visa is uh, superior anyways. So if yeah. they terminate your visit or not, you yeah. already, you can go in and out of this, it's yeah. a green card. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's it. So how did you feel when you actually received the news of your visa? Like, did they stamp it on the spot where after the interview or, <laughs> or so did I they didn't... it to go and then you received it later? Yeah, so I wasn't sure if it stamped at the at the spot Actually, um he just said to me like you've um you've been approved your visa has been approved okay you can talk about the interview what questions did they ask you how did you dress did you wear suits <laughs> <laughs> oh god Rabbi. calm down it's not immigration <laughs> No, no, because that's why I have money on this on this on this non-immigrant visa from Nigeria, from Africa, like everywhere. People are spending money and they are getting denied and all of that. So people like to, you know, show up and yeah, so like so it depends on the culture of the place where you're living. This is where I cannot help. In London, <laughs> we already dress up all the time in London. I don't live yeah. in London, but when I'm going to London, I'm dressing up because you don't want to be caught, you know. <laughs> so i dressed up like normal dress up and then like a trench coat like looking yeah. sharp perfume yeah. but that really didn't it, it depends on the culture because if i did it here in berry <laughs> nobody will see me Tracks so there's no point yeah so i i was just sharp nice and then it was one of the like the quickest in um visa in that i've applied for so many visas <laughs> so <laughs> It was one of the most quickest ones, and it was also seamless as well. They didn't waste time. Very quick, very sharp, and they are not intimidating. This is something that I need to put out there. Be they are not, especially from the from London, because we have like a strong anti-bullying um, whatever here, so nobody would intimidate you at any interview. So when I got there, he just asked, "What's your name?" He took my passport, my supporting all of my supporting documents. He gave it back to me because he didn't need them. 
Oh, your it supporting documents before you go. So it was, yeah, my proof of employment, my um, because I said I was going to be sponsoring the visit. Um, I had my pay slips for like three months. What else did I even have? One second, let me just check. Yeah, my pay slip for three months, um, proof of employment, um, bank statement. So I had my friend's name and where she works, and they didn't need where she worked. They, they did not need so much personal information from me about my friend. Uh, they needed just her address, her address, her name, her number. So I feel like the moment my friend was mentioned, every other um every other support statement got cancelled like there, there was no need so the confirmation page okay, that i said before, very important, yeah. Yeah. and then you you have to go with a passport this visa is called ds160 by the way the, the application form is ds160 application yeah. yeah but visa is like b1 b2 so you go with that your ds160 confirmation page your passport yeah. the instruction page also like the purpose of the trip some people have to write like a letter addressing the consular okay i didn't have to write it but you can just write a letter addressing the consular saying that you're going for a trip in you go think... with the letter or you send yeah, you, go, you, know, you go with the letter you print it out and just show them if they want it it's just... and then they wanted like your ability to pay for the cost of trip which is the my employment my proof of employment uh no less no less than one month and um those pay slaves and then bank statements another interesting thing is that they will send you all this everything they need i've never had that experience with other countries i see like they're really organized yeah, yeah. So after giving you the ds160 confirmation page they will even warn you on the page that you can pinch it now we can send it to your mail they were so like oh gentle yeah. parenting <laughs> so yeah they'll send it to you <laughs> they'll send it to your email and then yeah. in the instruction page, there's even something called instruction page that bring this, bring that, bring this with you. Wow. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's not intimidating at all. Yeah. At all. So those are the things that I remember taking with me. Then so about did he the ask you for them, or you just immediately you stood at his kiosk, presented them. Yeah, yeah. So he he asked for my passport first, and then I was tell I think I told him that oh I have other things here. That was my first time for <laughs> so it was like oh that's all right and then he went on to ask yeah, my name where i work when did i came to the uk how many years is left in my contract because he wanted to know that i have a strong tie so mm -hmm. i said oh i have three years visa here and i'm going to renew it because i love working where i currently work I was like, oh that's nice it's countenance change like it's like magic you could tell mm -hmm. yeah because i think that's one of the biggest thing they face that people would go visit and would never come back yeah so yeah, after that, every other thing was nice. So he said, I can see here that you're going to see your friend. I said, yes. Or your friend name, address. Was, he said something about, we did not even, he said, we don't have to even send her a mail. Don't worry. I was like, okay. Because I asked questions about, are you going to reach out to my friend? He said, no. Again, this is because this is somebody from London. I don't think you'll be asking consular questions in Nigeria. They are very strict. <laughs> yeah. They are very strict. <laughs> they are very strict. So... He then asked that, is my friend also a nurse? I said, yes, he's a nurse in the U.S. Was, a nurse in the U.S.? He said, yeah. I said, yes. And he was like, oh, that's good. And what does she do? Like, what specials? I said, oh, I see you, this and that. So we just talked about my friend for a while. And then um, also he said that, would I also want to go to the U.S. workers? And I said, I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't know. Like, that has not crossed my mind because I'm going to I'm going to renew my visa here. I'm going to renew my contract. He said, mm. oh, that's good. That's good. Mm. Then, <laughs> so we are we're just because obviously that's what you need at that point. You can't yeah. be telling somebody that you're going on a business. Oh, yeah, you're, thinking, you're thinking, what? No. So the what was what other question did you even ask me? Yeah, just about my friend. And then he asked again. That, so where are the places that I wanted to visit? At that moment, my friend stayed in California. Yeah. So and then she told me about like maybe Disney, Los Angeles, Hollywood, and all those places. 
So I was, I just sprinkled it in like, yeah, so we're going to see Hollywood. We're going to go to Los Angeles. I've, I've always wanted to go to the city of angels. Like it was very nice. Yeah. It was actually really, cause I love talking. So I was just like, yeah. was like, that's really good. And then he looked up and said, your visa has been approved. I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. So he did, I didn't remember him stamping something. So then I waited to ask like, so when would I get my passport? He said, oh, in like, I think 10 days. Oh, okay. for me yeah for me the one mistake that i made was saying that i'll come back to get it because they asked me clearly would you want us to post it's not worth it going back because i stay very far from london it's like two hours okay yeah if you don't stay in london if you stay very far from london ask them to post every other visa that i've applied for i ask them to post and it's so much easier okay so post it to your house directly yeah yeah, so th those are the questions. So you were too excited that you wanted to go and hold this by yourself, collect it by with your hands. Yeah, I was excited. <laughs> I was very excited because, like, I've never um in at that point, I have not gone outside of the UK. Yeah, oh, at that point, that was your yeah, first so I wanted to go out, like out oh, of the country. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So where did you visit in the US when you came, and how? So, was how was plans changed. Plans give, changed. Us, give us a review <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> I have so many things that I wanted to say, but, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, so plans changed. I didn't let her go to California. I might be going for Christmas. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But <laughs> I'm in Arizona. If you like COVID, you know. Arizona is. <laughs> no, no, but yeah. Yeah, Arizona is four hours drive. Okay. Yeah. We'll think about it. Yeah, we will record videos when I come. <laughs> Okay. No problem. Yeah, so I went to New York with okay. somebody very dear to my heart. <laughs> yeah, so I went to New York in I think 2023. And it was like really, really interesting. Like really, really interesting. There's so many things I noticed that was different. First of all, the sky was clear. <laughs> I know this. I, <laughs> I know this is not like something that, but if you're living in the UK, did you if, you, if you, if I show you outside right now, even though we are approaching spring or summer or whatever, is mm. like always, mm, there's that thing of like, you see, every, everywhere is like cold and um, too calm. But for, for the first time, I felt like I was in Lagos again. Mm -hmm. Like everywhere is bubbling. Like everybody's going out, hustling and stuff like that. So yeah, he... It was really nice for me. When we we're going to New York, my boyfriend already told me about places that he wanted us to visit, places that he had visited before. So like the Empire State Building, I went to see the um, Statue of Liberty, yeah? yeah. And we saw the Manhattan Bridge. We stayed in Brooklyn, okay. actually. So we saw the Manhattan Bridge, Empire State Building, Columbus Circle, Statue of Liberty. We went on a ferry journey. It was just five days, but it was packed. Because I went with the baddest tour guide. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. So we went to the World Trade Center, 9-11 Memorial, and uh, Central Park. Central Park was so greeny, very nice. And yeah, it was just really, I didn't want to come back to the UK. I didn't want to come back to the UK. Also, about how people, we went to uh, Madison Square Garden just to see the um place yeah so it was really nice it was really nice my mm -hmm. to new york times i forgot to say new york times mm -hmm. was really wow. reading i loved it because i always saw it in like um mm -hmm. videos in contents like it was really, really nice it was crowded yeah. but it was really really nice like i love the the projections the 3d um those advertisements and there were so many interesting things i saw all these big big news outlets i saw new york times i saw cbc and yeah, it was really nice. This oh, that's so interesting. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I did. I'm glad I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that she comes to the US. Yeah, you should <laughs> go to the US. You should. Like, even if it's like a visit, just see how, especially if you're in Europe, just see how other people live because we're very too cool here. I don't know how to say, like, very cool, very easy going and chill. But if you go to the US, like, you would be surprised that, oh, it's not, it's not, it's just really nice. And then like, I feel very free. I felt free in the sense that there's like big roads. That's another thing, like big roads, big houses, big everything. So yeah, I think it's go big or go home. <laughs> and yeah, you can actually just come and visit and actually see if it's somewhere you want to live. 
I know yeah. many people say they want to come to the US to practice as a nurse or to leave or something based off what they see online and other yeah. people's um, idea. So if you are in a position where you can actually come and visit, I think it's yeah. a good yeah. Okay, I think we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much, Aisha. For you blessing us with your beauty and your experience and everything. Thank and you for having Emma, you're welcome. This video is none of us are immigration experts here. It's been really, really fun. <laughs> yeah. It's based off personal experience. So take yeah. what we say and do your own research as well. As it's well. based off yeah. personal experience. Nothing mm -hmm. is hook line and sinker. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.